rock and roll inherently goes against conformity. The core of it is rooted in rebellion, hearkening back to its opposition to the establishment. David Lee Roth's second album, Skyscraper, sparked controversy right from the start due to the artist's departure from his previous sound in favor of a more pronounced glam rock style. For the vocalist, nothing could match the thrill of crafting the intensity seen in the album cover. The time leading up to the premiere of Skyscraper was quite unusual not only due to Roth leaving Van Halen. Certainly, the reorganization prompted Roth to rapidly put together his own team, including Steve Vai, Billy Sheehan and Greg Bissonette, and create something that surpassed the 5150 of the initial band. When they released Skyscraper, there appeared to be some issues behind the scenes due to Sheehan being replaced by Matt Bissonette and Steve Vai soon following suit. Same old faces in anger, that same old talk. Despite the hit status of the initial single, Just Like Paradise, the majority of Roth's dedicated Van Halen fans became disinterested because of the different sound. Clearly, Roth didn't achieve commercial success in a linear or effortless manner as he had previously believed. Despite the musician's significant climbing experience, shooting the album cover seemed to surpass any previous challenges they had faced. However, Werner Braun and Ron Kolk believed that Roth's vision could be achieved with minimal effort. When I'm searching for the latest thing, breaking this routine. The group traveled to the eastern side of Yosemite Valley in Yosemite National Park, California, famously recognized as Half Dome. Standing almost 5,000 feet higher than Yosemite Valley and 8,800 feet above sea level, the risks of Half Dome are significant, and despite numerous climbers scaling it, whether through free climbing or with assistance, the rock formation has a highly intricate design and has seen approximately 40 to 60 fatality. During the shoot, Roth and his team went to Half Dome Summit and waited for adventure photographer Galen Rowell to select the perfect spot. After discovering his secret weapon, he told Braun and Cork to position David at the exact spot on the cover, wanting Roth to be isolated in a featureless area. Even though he mentioned the lack of a stable spot to hammer in an aid, Rowell encouraged him to continue by inserting a piton that was protruding over three-fourths of the way Cork aimed to support Roth and his weight. Fortunately, the final outcome was positive, although the high technical difficulty level of certain parts of Half Dome meant the situation could have been much worse. 